stress. I'm <laughs> okay. We're a bit stressed here, but we're not going to worry about that. We're uh, broadcasting our first podcast named Normally Outrageous. Now, the Regis isn't like Regis Philbin, who died, the poor man. It's R-E-A-D, because we work at Bookstore One Sarasota, and we're proud of it. And, we're, and we might give a little bit of inside baseball on the store, but we certainly aren't going to hurt anyone's feelings, right? <laughs> Only this. <laughs> I'm begging my, no, my compatriots here, right? We're not going to hurt anyone. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so I'm here with, well, my name is Roxanne Baker, and I'm here with Mia Schneider. Hello, I'm Mia. And James Mamoni. Oh, wait, are you recording Who's our special right guest? No, yes, no, James. Wait, no, what no, do you no. think? Oh, <laughs> if you're speaking, wait, wait, wait. you're on camera. Hold on. All right. So anyway, wait, let, first we're going to um, talk about how we came to be oh, about no. the title of this thing. All right, we have an astrology book. I'm going to pause. pause. Hang on. Just... Okay, and we're back. Wait, wait. Okay, so anyway. We have to. We have to back here. We have to pause here. We have to pause once in a while because we have customers coming in because it's a busy Saturday and we love our customers. Okay, and we're back. (laughs) Oh wow. Okay, so (laughs) we got our name from the Secret Language of Relationships book on astrology. Yeah. And I'm a Sagittarian. Mia is a Cancer. Cancer. Yes. And so. The title we thought we were was normally outrageous, and so Mia changed it to normally outrageous because we wanted to have the word reading in there somewhere. Cause and then reading. we found out today that we're really naturally playful, but it's pretty much the same difference. I think it works. Yeah. The pun is back. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we found out we're really normally playful, but it's almost the same difference. Yeah, James. Come on now. Yes, we got steered wrong, but that's okay. So it's just kind of cool because um, I'll speak for myself. When I first met Mia, I mean, I didn't really know her, but the more we work together, I'm like, wow, we have a lot in common. Like, <laughs> just our vibe is, we always have, like, the kind of similar opinions. Yes. And even if we disagree, we, like, have fun, like, discussing that. Yeah. And then the key thing for me was the time you were gone for a couple of weeks, and then I came back to see you. And we were standing here, and there was like a moment of silence, and at the same time, we both said, I miss you, and I thought that was the most beautiful thing. <laughs> he feels, he just so feels looked up. That's why he's coughing. Even though there's a large age difference, we have a riot working together. Because you're a young soul, and I'm an old soul. It works. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are an old soul. It works. All right. So, basically, the way that it works is it takes, like, the week in which your birthday falls, and it, like, labels you. So, I'm a cancer, too. And Roxanne's the Sagittarius one. So I'm the week of con- unconventional, and Roxanne's the week of independence. Right. Whatever that means. <laughs> well, it means that I'm alone. <laughs> Pretty much. And many discussions on Roxanne's dating life. <laughs> All right. I just admire Mia because she has more confidence than I do <laughs> with a lot less years under her belt. But I, think I that's just, where it comes from. I'm impressed. I think, I'm, I think I, it comes from the. You're going age. places. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Mia's a very smart, smart, smart Stop young it. lady. Stop it. She's a senior, but she should probably be a senior in college. Or a senior citizen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't want to be that yet. I, I don't know. I get a lot of I get a lot of a lot of flack for working at a bookstore. <laughs> but yes, so our worst relationship is definitely work. <laughs> As mentioned by the book. <laughs> But it's because apparently we don't, uh, there's a lack of ambition. Yeah, we have a lack of ambition, but we're really nice to people. Sure. So we don't need the ambition to be nice. I mean, we say mean things. <laughs> <laughs> and we do like to read, so there's not many coworkers that I work with that don't mind reading, like, because I think either it's rude to the person they're working with or they think they shouldn't. But you and I are fine with it because we are selling books, so isn't it yes, good? it's good for you. It, it's advertisement. It is advertisement. <laughs> for the place we work. So yeah, and there are works. there are down moments here where there's not much to do. Um, especially in September. Which didn't say that we both, like, recharge by sort of going inward. Yeah, so here, let's Which see. is reading. The relationship itself can be very uplifting to its partners, a place to go to recharge your batteries, and a kind of retreat or haven from the outside world. Yeah. So sometimes we're just super, super chatty with each other, and sometimes we go into like our own little deep yeah. dives to whatever we're reading or doing. Or Spanish. Or Spanish. <laughs> I'm trying to learn Spanish. Successfully? <laughs> que pasa? Anyway. Uh, 
Right now, what are you reading, Mia? I just started Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Yeah, that's another reason I'm impressed by you. You try to read classic books. Yeah, it's my teacher's favorite book. My favorite teacher's favorite book. Mm. So I told her that I would read it. Um, so far, I'm enjoying it. It's a bit more literary than the last book I read, which is making it a bit harder because I was <laughs> not in that mindset. But I'm about 40 pages in. It's interesting. Just a lot of like, I'm young. <laughs> okay. He's old. All right. But yeah. And I'm reading a book that hasn't even hasn't been published yet, not until May, called Love Marriage. And I don't know the author right now, but I'm sorry. You can't buy it anyway, <laughs> but you will be able to. <laughs> but the reason I like this book is it's short chapters, but there's really a lot of depth. It's almost like an onion where you just keep peeling. It's like, holy mackerel, there's a lot to this yeah, book. Yeah, short chapters are easy. Where at first I'm like, oh, this is just a light, fluffy thing, but now it's getting really good. What's it about? It's about an uh, Indian woman who's getting married in London. India is in, like, India? Yes. Okay. India is in India. And um, her partner is from a Muslim country but doesn't practice the religion. So there's a lot of different talks about religion, and uh, it's interesting. And the backstories are now coming into fold about their childhoods, and it's oh, really interesting. That actually does sound interesting. Yeah. So... So anyway, this is us. This is our new podcast. Yes, welcome. Thank you for listening. Until next time.